welcome back to another vlog here today. It's kind of loud. At the Tapas and Tequila Festival here. We're gonna try all this wonderful, delicious food items around here. We're gonna have a lot of fun, drink a lot of drinks, have some fun, drink responsibly, of course. With that being said, let's go straight to it. Let's have ourselves an adventure. So here at the Tapas and Tequila Food Festival, it's located by, as you can see, Daredevil Dive going by, at the Daredevil Dive stage, right here. It's very, very cool, very nice. A lot of tens different food options. So of course, you can get your punch card over there, along with uh, getting some drinks right there. You get your Mexican street corn option, your pork kebabs over there. We're gonna start out with the Kobe beef sliders, shrimp tacos right here. Uh, yeah, just experience some tequila and some tapas right there. Goliath, I love it. Let's go ahead and experience it. Coming here first, the Kobe beef sliders. We're gonna try this out. Give it a go, see how tasty it is. Curious and excited to try the sliders right here. As you can see, it says grilled Kobe beef sliders topped with smoked Gouda cheese, which I love Gouda cheese, bacon, onion, marmalade, and crispy onions. Very nice. If you wanted to buy it individually, it'd be $9.99, but let's go ahead, give it a try with our punch cards right here. The Kobe beef slider, as I mentioned, uh, bacon, onion, marmalade, you got the Kobe beef, uh, I don't have a little t uh, tomato, but he, uh, Fred has a tomato on his right there. And then, got a shot of uh, tequila right there. We're gonna give it a go, and I'll let you know <laughs> how tasty it is. Let's see. All right, trying the Kobe beef slider right here. Yeah, let's give it a go. All right, so the uh, slider right here, the beef, nice, tender, juicy uh, meat right there. Got the Kobe slider. So the bacon onion marmalade is really delicious, full of bacon flavor, really pairs well with it. I'm gonna give this a uh, shot of tequila here a try in a second, but this is really good, really juicy. I wish they had more. I wish I could get three, I could, but I may, but I'm not going to right now, but we're gonna try more food offerings here. But this is really, really good. I really wish this would stick around on the menu permanently here at the park, but really tender, juicy burger. Like I said, uh, the bacon, onion, marmalade, Looks really delicious, it is really delicious. Definitely, I highly recommend. Number one of one so far. While we're at it, let's go ahead and uh, take back this shot of uh, tequila. I forgot what uh, type it is and I'll put it on the screen right here, but let's uh, see how it is. Very, very smooth. My favorite tequila is uh, George Clooney's Casamigos. I really love it. Very, very smooth. Very delicious, very flavorful. This um, had a little kick to it. So I gotta see what it is uh, and look it up a little bit. But yeah, there it is, um, that tequila. One of one that we're trying, I think out of six or more. But yeah, let's keep on going. Coming up next, we have the pork kebabs paired with Don Nacho Extra Premium with the pork kebabs. Cannot wait. Giving it a try up next. Here we have the pork kebab that you can see right here. Woo wee. Cannot wait to try this in our shot right there, shot number two, that we're gonna give it a go. But let's see. Got it from this booth right here behind me. We're about to give this pork kebab first a try, get a little food more in our system, then take this other shot, give it a go, let you know how it is. We're one of one so far, one for one. I approve. Let's uh, go ahead and give this pork kebab a try. Here we are giving the pork kebab a try. Eh. Mm. I took a small bite, but it was just rushing with flavor. My goodness. My goodness! What type of sorcery? This is delicious, my, wow! I know it might be a little bit uh, backlit, but hey, nonetheless, this is, the, this is the focus right here. The pork kebab, my goodness, it is wonderful! I'm gonna keep enjoying this though. <laughs> Ooh, it's hot out here, all right, next. <laughs> Taking this uh, second shot here. Of course, it's a little hot, as I mentioned, and then this is warming me up a little bit more. Here we go. That is spicy, wow. Woo. That is super spicy. <laughs> wow, that Don Nacho right there, my goodness. Super spicy, that's all I gotta say is that one, yeah. <laughs> uh, definitely not high on my list right there. Pork kebab though, probably jumped to number one as far as food. But that Don Nacho tequila, 
super super spicy not my not my jam moving right along next up we're doing the shrimp tacos these look wonderfully delicious cannot wait to see and taste how these are and pair it with this other shot Ooh, let's do it 100 percent tequila anejo mm -hmm. is made out of 100 percent agave I'm uh -huh, sorry. of course right. i mean no i got it you got it Ooh, that beauty right there yeah I see you. Okay. So it's been aged for about nine years, mm -hmm. so it does have a little smoky flavor to it. Okay. That's why we mix it very well with the seafood, so you get like the citrus. Yes, the seafood, yes. The oh, I love that. So here we have the shrimp tacos right here with a lot of extra drizzle of sauce on there. And then our third shot of tequila right here, giving it a go. The shrimp tacos first, shot second. Once again, get a little food more in our system. Let's go give it a go. All right. Shrimp taco in hand, as you can see there. Goliath going by. Ooh, let's give it a go. Very flavorful. That shrimp taco was very, very delicious, very flavorful. That sauce has a kick to it. Once you get to that second, third bite, it really, really hits you all up in here. <laughs> very, very spicy with it. Um, the shrimp was cooked perfectly. Yeah, I can't say anything higher than that, other than it was amazing. Three for three so far. While we're at it, it's shot time. Let's go ahead and give it this this third shot. Oh my goodness. What am I doing? It's very smooth. It has a um, aftertaste to it here. Very, very spicy uh, at the end there. As she mentioned, it would be uh, aged to perfection. Very delicious. Uh, really good though. Um, I would probably put this one... Wait, I've only had three. <laughs> so this one would be second. The first one I tried would be first. That second one I tried would be dead last so far. Yeah, but uh, really good so far. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so we've tried three out of what, six different items. You got the nachos, you have the uh, veggie flatbread, and the Mexican street corn. That's all that's left. Of course, with additional like three, or I think there might be four or five more tequilas to try. But hey, beautiful day here. We're gonna keep on going, give it a try. Need a drink refill though, for sure though. And where you would pick up your punch cards, they have the Coaster Cocktails, I like that name. Here, you can get yourself a margarita, two different margaritas right here. Very, very cool, very nice, as you can see there. Don't think we're gonna try that, though. <laughs> Just go with the uh, food and the tequila. But let's keep on heading on, get a drink refill, and then try this uh, Mexican street corn right here. The Don Fernando Blanco tequila. And then try this Mexican street corn right here. Woo, let's get it. <laughs> Next up here, as mentioned, the Mexican mm. street corn. Super sweet, delicious, flavorful with mm. street corn with the amazing little spoon in there. <laughs> and another shot of tequila right there. It was highly recommended of me to take a little bite of this, a sip of that, a little more bite of this, and then finish that up. So we're gonna, you know, take that advice and give that a go. Let's see. All right, taking a little bite here of this uh, Mexican street corn. Let's see. Has a little kick to it. I don't know if it has like I don't know habanero, a little spice to it, something. But yeah, very flavorful. I like it a lot. Corn off the cob, Mexican tree corn. Sometimes you can make this with like a little like sweet like sauce to it, or a little also a little kick to it with sriracha. Don't know what this has to it, but it is flavorful, to say so the least. But we're gonna try the shot in a second. Well, she did say take a little sip now. And she said, try more of the Mexican street corn. Ooh. That makes it spicier. Interesting. I'm gonna take another bite, then I'm gonna finish the shot. Not only is it hot, it's spicy. The temperature is hot, but it's also spicy and flavoring. But very delicious though. Wow. What is that, four for four? So far, very good. All right, it is time. Finish the shot now. Very good. Standard shot tequila at this point. Uh, <laughs> still would put this uh, number three of the four that I've tried, but hey, thumbs up so far. I wanted to say one more thing here as I'm finishing off this uh, Mexican tree corn. If they would have taken that sauce that was on the um, shrimp tacos and put it to this uh, Mexican tree corn, 
really, really would have topped it off. Super delicious, but that would have really taken it over the edge. The Daredevil dive going by. But yeah, I don't know. Still good though. And now we're gonna try the nachos next. We did the savory, now it's time for the sweet to wrap it all up. Of course the veggie flatbread, but don't really feel like trying that. Nah, eh, I don't know. Could be good, but yeah. Let's uh, finish off this Mexican street corn. Of course they have the performance here on the stage. Entertaining folks while they try wonderful food here at the Tapas and Tequila Festival. Very beautiful, very wonderful dancing. And to conclude, we're gonna try the nachos again with another shot. So let's give it a go. Woo! <laughs> this is our most premium tequila that we have. Uh -huh. It's called there the Don Nacho Resperado. Mm -hmm. um, the color comes from its aging. That it does. Okay. And I'm gonna do another nachero as well. Ooh, the sweetness. Look at that beauty. Look at that beauty right there. Ooh. The sweetness comes from the agave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gassing you up. Come on, man. You gotta perform. This sweetness comes from the agave Ooh. that it was uh, extracted with. Okay, I see you. And so it's real smooth. Thank We've been you. hearing that it's the best that we have. Okay, so I'll be the judge of that. So we're back at it again with the nachos with a little bit of caramel sauce, caramel depending on where you're from and how you pronounce it, or the chocolate drizzle. I did not elect to go with the uh, whipped cream as Fred has gone with, but I did that last time. And then, as you heard her say, another shot. This will be the last one here. I, I just feel like uh, no more here for me. But yeah, to wrap this up, uh, this will be five uh, things that we tried out of six. Let's give it a go. Here we are with another pizza looking slice of uh, not churros in our life. A little caramel drip. Ooh, look at that right there. Uh, let's give it a go. Fluffy, very flavorful. The cinnamon, the caramel, the chocolate. My goodness, delicious. That's all I can say. You guys already heard my review on these. Wow, amazing, amazing. Cheers to you all right here. Love you all, pass all the family community. Of course, drink responsibly. Here we are. Still coming with a kick. That spice at the end, my goodness. Woo! That's all I have to say to it. Is woo!